I'm gonna teach you how to size your e-collar to your dog. So we want the e-collar to be relatively snug. And there's two reasons why we have it snug. If the e-collar is not tight enough, this is the example I like to put it. If it's loose, it is going to just continue to move around just like this. And what that causes is chafing around the neck. So you want the prongs to be perfectly in there that it is not going to go anywhere. When the e-collar is on your dog, you should only be able to fit one finger under one of these prongs. And I mean very forcefully kind of getting under there. Both of the prongs on the e-collar have to make contact. If one is not making contact, they're not gonna feel anything. Now where you want the e-collar to be placed, you are going to place the collar right below their ear, right here on the dog. You do not want it on the back side, nor do you want it on the front. Two reasons, if it's on the back here, like on the very back of her neck, she's not gonna feel a thing. If the collar is right here, she's not gonna be very comfortable wearing that. You want it right below the ear. Every other day, you're gonna switch sides. One day on this side, the other day on the other. And like I said, why we want the prongs to be relatively tight too as well, is because they've got tons of fur here. So if I put this on there and it's loose, she's not gonna feel any of those points through her fur. And when you get the e-collar out of the box, your strap is going to be relatively long. What I like to do is cut a decent amount off of this. That way you don't have a flying strap in the wind, but just enough where you can leave a little bit of slack as well.